and Vicki Lawrence, our special guest stars are Steve Lawrence and Tim Conway. But you could use this lady stick the order in. Nutritionist, if you just look for them, I'm going to eat your garage. and shine. Floor wax so shiny you can see your reflection. <laughs> I'm so excited. I made a 
killing in the stock market. You did? Yeah. You know my stockbroker, E.F. Sutton? Well, he says... When E.F. Sutton talks, everybody listens. Norman, Norman, you've got to get me away from here. I need a vacation, Norman. Uh, I'd like bananas. I know, I know. Oh, sweetheart, I know, I know. Look what I got. Look, look what I got. Two tickets to Acapulco. Acapulco! Yeah, just me and you. Oh, hey, I'm Lola. Come on and fly. Uh, make that a correction. That'll be just me and her. Come <laughs> I'd like to quit Nothing ever seems to fit Hanging around With nothing to do but frown Rainy days and Mondays Always get me down I should have saved those leftover dreams Honey, but here's that rainy day Here's that rainy day They told me about And I laughed at the thought That it might turn out this way Five minutes. Right. Let's go. I ain't no 
know you're going to be back here. Well, come on. Right. Let's go. It's a very good house tonight. Right. Right. I know. Get that button. Right. Hurry up. I've been in here listening to that audience. Well, I'll tell you, they're out there. They're really... Back in Australia, you're so good they gave you that cool one. <laughs> this is very important to me. Never mind this, I'll get the button. All right. Oh, now my mustache is coming off. Get some spitted gum and fix my mustache, will you? I'll take it with me. Yes, I'll get it for you, and I'll whiz right back. Four minutes, Mr. Holmes, yes, I'll be right there with you. Hurry up. Yell at me.
Tim Conway and Stevie Lawrence on our show is that no matter how much everybody breaks up around them, usually they remain constant and they, they don't step out of character. You know, Harvey goes bananas. And uh, we, uh, to illustrate this point for you tonight, we'd like to show you a portion of a dress rehearsal of a sketch that we did a few weeks ago. Watch Tim. <laughs> you don't own me. Uh oh. I suppose our contract means nothing to you. Nothing to you, eh? It's getting hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> if you didn't follow us, all those things you just said about me, true. I've got when your buddy Chuck Moran is getting married, yeah? Huh? Uh, Besides, when Sally Carruthers becomes Mrs. Sally Moran, we may never see you again. Ah, uh, come on, get out of here, will you? Hey, thanks, that was a beautiful party. Yeah, thanks a lot. Right, careful, yeah? Bye-bye. Oh, never see me again. <laughs> Talk like I'm going to a funeral or something. Nah, nah, there's a big difference between a wedding and a funeral. Sure is. At a funeral, you're a dead duck before you go up the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, not you too, huh? Well, it's true, Chuck. This is your last night out with the guys. What are you talking about? You're married. You get to go out anytime you want. You kidding? I sneak out. Let me see. That's right. I stuff pillows under the blanket. Put a mannequin's head right there. <laughs> and you mean to tell me that your wife doesn't notice? Look, pal, after you're married for a while, there's one place that your wife never wants to get too close to you, and that's in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can bet I ain't ever going to have that problem. Oh, yeah? I was always better with the girls than you were. The shorter girls, anyway. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You couldn't get lucky at a vitamin E demonstration. <laughs> Well, you're lucky that there's no girls in here now, boy. Right, Otherwise, right. I'd show you that the old master hasn't lost his touch yet. Sure you would. Sure right. you would. It's easy to say when there's nobody here, but... Oh, you're... the phone. Well, mighty mouse, you may get a chance to prove yourself after all. Get a load of that. Hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. Ten bucks says that you can't get her to give you a tumble. Ah, oh, come on, will you? I'm getting married tomorrow. But why? Besides, what if Sally finds Sally's out? Sally's not going to find out. She's probably at home right now trying to convince her mother that someday you're going to amount to something. Oh, that? Now you just did it. Yeah? You got yourself a ten-buck bet. Yeah. Oh, you better right. cough up that time. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You just watch and learn, okay? I'll take notes. <laughs> <clears throat> Say, uh, beautiful, where you been all my life? It's just that I have not heard a line like that since grammar school. Oh, yeah, sure. That, that's why I used it. I want to see if you were hep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you didn't laugh, I'd be gone by now. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? Yeah, I was sitting over at the bar with my buddy, and as soon as she came in, I said, boy, there's a real sharp-looking girl looking for a swinging guy. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's getting kind of late. What do you say I take you home, huh? I just got here. Oh, that's all right. It's no trouble. Where do you live? Kansas. <laughs> Kansas, you're putting me on. No, I would not put you on. I just blew in town for the weekend. Oh, the weekend. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. 
I'm here to attend a wedding. <laughs> not yours, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. My sister's wedding. Your sister's getting married, yeah. huh? Yeah. My baby sister, Sally. <laughs> Your sister Sally? What's uh, what's her last name? Maybe I know her. Carruthers. <laughs> Do you know her? No, 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 no. I never even I don't even know anybody by the name Carruthers. Huh? She's marrying some fellow named Chuck Moran. Uh -huh. well, from the way she described him, his name should be Upchuck. <laughs> that's, uh, that's that's very sad. That is exactly what I said to her when she described him to me over the telephone. Uh, I, I think there's been a terrible mistake there. I told her that myself, but she still insists on marrying this jerk. Uh, do you know how much money he makes? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Uh, no, I mean, no. How, how would I know how much money he makes? I have no idea. Say, up and go in
I'd just like to remind you, whoever you are, whatever you do, your number one health enemy is heart disease, so make heart health your number one cause. Give to the Heart Fund. I'm so glad we have this time together Just to have a laugh or sing a song Seems we just get started And before you know it Comes the time we have to say So long, so long. <laughs>